Um, a lot of people get confused about uh, cayenne because it's a stimulant. And a lot of people are wanting to get away from the stimulants. Well, we need to define what sort of a stimulant is it. Now, caffeine, alcohol, many drugs, tobacco with its nicotine, they are nervous system stimulants. And they are not good because they certainly are addictive and not only addictive, but damaging to the nervous system on the body. But this is not cayenne. Cayenne is a blood stimulant. Anything that moves blood is incredibly beneficial to the body. As Leviticus 1711 states, the life of the flesh is in the blood. So you move blood to an area, you're moving life to the area. You see, the blood contains the nutrients, it contains the oxygen, it contains the water, it carries the white blood cells. In fact, in blood is everything that our body needs to heal. Now, I wanted to define that. First of all, that cane is a blood stimulant. And by the way, Jethro Kloss thought so highly of the cane pepper that instead of devoting half a page to it, like he does to every other herb, he devotes 10 pages to it. So what cane pepper is, it's a blood stimulant. It can be used internally and it can be used externally. And the story that I told you yesterday about the man who had his hand crushed and they're about to, they're talking about taking the tip of one of his fingers off. And I said, cayenne pepper, if you wrap cayenne pepper around it, it will stimulate blood into the area. If you can get blood into that tip, you'll get life into that tip and he will not need to lose. He showed me a picture and he had put about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper on that fingertip. He'd wrapped it up and he was just gritting his teeth. He was in so much pain. So I quickly wrote back and said, please take it off immediately. That, that is just too, too much. He said, my whole hand is hurting. My, my whole arm is hurting. I said, no, 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 no. Now, he, that cane will not hurt that finger, but you've heard the old saying, treatment was successful, but the patient died. We, we need to keep the person alive and functioning and comfortable. So I, so I, I wrote back and I said, please, now, he didn't, he didn't want to look at cane pepper again, and I understand that. He just wrapped his hand up for the night because he couldn't get all the cane pepper off. I said, we've got a saying in Australia, and that's sleeping dog, dogs lie. It had settled right down. I said, just leave it for 24 hours. And I said, and when you open it again, put the soothing aloe on, the aloe vera, the soothing aloe vera. And I said, put a faint sprinkle of cayenne pepper on it, faint. <laughs> so, um, you know, again, it wouldn't have hurt him, but he could not, he could not handle the pain. It was just too, too much. I said to him, it is easier to put a little more on than a little less. I've even seen a lady come out of a heart attack by giving her cayenne pepper by mouth. We put about half a teaspoon in her mouth. She, she was half conscious, her her pulse was faint. It was in the middle of a cooking class, so we had people everywhere. We quickly put the cane pepper in her mouth. I gave her some water. Within two minutes, the man holding her pulse said the pulse is strong. She opened her eyes. All the blood came into her face. She'd been very pale. She wondered what had happened. Her husband couldn't believe it. This was the fourth minor heart attack that she'd had that year. She was in her 80s. He, he was astonished. What did the cane do? The cane thinned the blood. The cane pepper opened. It just opens those capillaries to get a better and more powerful flow of blood through the body. But taken regularly, yes, it will thin the blood. Yes, it will open those capillaries, but it will also strengthen the arterial wall. So it is an excellent herb for the heart and for the blood. Which is why I think that Jethro Kloss put 10 pages on cayenne and not just, you know, a little section like he does for a lot of the other, the other herbs. And one misconception I think people have about cayenne pepper or other hot peppers is the actual healing property in it is called capsaicin. And that's what, where the word capsicum fr comes from. And 
That is what makes it taste hot. It's not actually hot. It just gives a sensation of heat in the body or in the mouth. And capsaicin is in all hot peppers, not just cayenne. Cayenne was the most readily available at the time, which is why it was the, the main one wrote about. Uh, or you can buy in the store very easily. You can just go and you can buy cayenne pepper. But if you're growing different peppers in your garden, they all can work the same. Maybe not quite as well as something hotter like a cayenne pepper, but they can have a similar and helping effect because it's the capsaicin in the pepper that is actually creating that. Yes, I like to call it a tingle rather than a burn because it, as, as one doctor says in Jethro Kloss's book, he says it's impossible to abuse it and it's impossible to cause a lesion. It will never cause a lesion. And of course a burn will call a lesion, cause a lesion. Thank you.